basketball, 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 basketball. basketball. That's basketball by Wax Mannequin. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the little piece of it. Hello, Helen. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Hi, Billy. <laughs> I love I love that song. That's Wax Mannequin from uh, Hamilton, Ontario. Uh, he's a Canadian indie legend. Any any Canadian uh, songwriter knows who he is. Oh, you just got packed up. Well, that's that's all right. I'll be on for a little bit, Cage, to see. Uh, with my new guitar. And none of you have ever seen this before. That's the new one. It's got a cat hair on it, naturally. <laughs> Start with uh, one of my newer tunes. See how this sounds. You'll have to forgive me if I play like crap. Uh, I think I've played guitar maybe three times in the last month. Uh, it's been a tough month. <laughs> so here we go. What's not streaming? Oh, where'd you go, Joe DiMaggio? The Yanks can't hit this year. Don't matter much to me, I'm a Jays fan as long as I'm breathing. I wanna hold you by your waist and dance slow. Some things that chill the bone. I might have heard a rumor through a phone that can't be traced. But Elon Musk is still launching things in the space. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's putting things out there that belong here in this place. I wanna hold you by your waist and dance slow.
<sighs> that was uh, old time feeling by yours truly. <laughs> Best gig advice anyone ever gave me, just make yourself at home and people will join you. That's like the uh, the musician's gig version of build it and they will come. Yeah. Yes, I just referenced Field of Dreams. I'm not ashamed. I'll, I'll do it again. Is this heaven? No. It's Iowa. There we go twice in one Tuesdays, Field the Dreams references. <laughs> Thank you, Cage, to see. I'm glad you've tuned in for this one, too. <laughs> and Patter, how you doing? Have a catch. Yeah, that's the, that's the moment, eh? It's kind of like the, the man-on-man meet-cute. You know, <laughs> uh, hello from Iowa. Hey, <laughs> and someone from Iowa tunes in. That's awesome. Hello, Beatrice. <laughs> Tell you about the guitar. Um, so I'm not a real, uh, even though I bought this, I'm not a real guitar geek. Um, and I was at the store and of course the salespeople there are doing their jobs and they're telling me everything about the wood and all this stuff that went into it and I, I at one point I told the guy I said I don't care I care how it sounds that's it <laughs> and I played guitars that were way more expensive than this one and way cheaper than this one and this one sounded the best and that's why I got it um, but basic stuff I do know about it is that it's a Taylor Craftsman series guitar uh, and it's uh, it's mahogany uh, mahogany top mahogany neck like just mahogany galore um, I can't remember what the back is it's something different it's not mahogany um, but yeah uh, he wasn't surprised that I got it because the other guitars that I liked uh, they had a warm tone, and I guess mahogany tends to have a, a warm, warm tone. <laughs> yeah, I found a lot of the ones that I picked up and played uh, sounded kind of bright, too bright for me. I like, I like a lot of mids and warmth, and uh, and I went through and I was playing every style of music, blues and rock and country and jazz and just kind of. A little bit of everything just to see um, and my test song is always uh, can't find my way home by blind faith because I find it's it's hard it's hard for that tune to sound good um, yeah there's something about it that's just challenging but uh, yeah Nice to see you, Roy. I think I'll play another tune. Mahogany is dark, yeah. It's, it's just, it's not the kind of, hey Matt. <laughs> it's not the kind of guitar that like, would uh, jump out and sort of blow people's minds with how it sounds. It's just always going to sound good which is what matters to me, because I'm not like some fancy finger-style Don Ross-style guitar player who needs every note to sound uh, otherworldly. I just need chords to sound good. <laughs> so this is a song by Dan Auer... No, not Dan Auerbach. David Berman. He wrote it with Dan Auerbach. Uh, he called himself Purple Mountains. That was his, his band name. On holidays, lonely haunts at closing time in restaurants. I can't keep pretending not to see. Yeah, I'm starting to suspect 
Though I hope I'm incorrect That maybe I'm the only one for me Oh, holding hands, starlit walks Making plans, silly talk All I see are couples in the street and I always had a hunch That I would crumble in the crunch Yeah, maybe I'm the only one for me Only one for me The only one for me The only one for me I put my dreams high on the shelf and I'll have to learn to like myself Yeah, maybe I'm the only one for me On bended knee, honeymoon, nursery Another soon into my mind The thought begins to see If no one's fond of fucking me well, maybe no one's fucking fond of me Yeah, maybe I'm the only one for me The only one for me The only one for me The only one for me, one for me. I'll put my dreams high on the shelf I'll have to learn like myself I put my dreams high on a shelf And I'll have to learn to love myself Yeah, maybe I'm the only one for me Yeah, maybe I'm the only one for me That's a little sardonic, sardonic tune by David Berman, otherwise known as Purple Mountains. <laughs> uh, yeah. If you, uh, the request line is open. Um, I haven't checked it yet, but um, if you want to make requests, uh, my my song list is up there. The link is in the description on Facebook. Uh, if you're watching on Twitch. Uh, I believe you just do uh, exclamation mark SL and that gets you where you need to go. This next one is called Uroboros, which is uh, in mythology a snake eating its own tail. And it's uh, based on some thoughts I was having during the uh, US election. And all the nonsense that was going on there. Might play without a pick. I just can't seem to understand it. Seems people believe whatever they're told. Whatever happened to critical thinking? Was everybody's mind ever really their own? People manipulating people into believing they are being manipulated by somebody else. Just snakes eating. Taste good if it smells like bullshit. How can one hand feed truth and the other be lying? Putting trust in the power and the profit motives. Might as well sign away the rights to your conscience. There's people manipulating people 
into believing they are being manipulated by somebody else. Just snakes eating their own tails. Just snakes eating their own plans the hunger for an easy scapegoat when the truth is we got fat and lazy trading on our history while the future threatens to foreclose and society's cracks are all exposed I think I will ever get it To see people as less than human That bigot mind, it makes no sense As it eats away civilization It's just people manipulating people Into believing they are being manipulated by somebody else Just snakes eating their own tails Just snakes eating their own tails Just snakes eating their own It's called Uroboros, snakes eating their own tails. <laughs> hey, Melina, welcome, welcome. Nice to see uh, people tuning in for my uh, semi-triumphant return. <laughs> I guess it's still morning in a lot of places, eh? It's afternoon where I am. This is another original called Page Turner. Page Turner. 
Hey, you're back. Ooh, you missed me chatting about my guitar a little bit. Um, playing a few tunes. I don't know. I don't think I've done anything that's like knock your socks off yet. Now, I know this. I know I haven't done anything to knock your socks off yet, or to knock socks off, because, because I'm, I've still got my socks on. They're cool socks. That's Kermit and Animal and Fozzie. I know, you're thinking this is, this is Tuesdays, Johnny. This isn't the sock show. We don't care about what's on your feet. We care about your playing songs and making us happy with the gift of music. This Tuesdays is not about the gift of socks, Johnny. Get it together, man. Just get it together. Mm. Message received loud and clear. I won't show you my socks anymore. I'm, I'm apologize. That was that was a major faux pas. It's gonna take me. It's gonna take me a while to uh, to forgive myself for for showing you my socks. I uh, I think I might have broken some some Facebook or Twitch policy there. There may be something in the fine print about never showing your socks to an audience. That's how they get you. It's not it's not because you mistakenly played Gordon Lightfoot at the beginning of your stream. Uh, no, that's not what's gonna upset them. That's not gonna trigger the sensors. It's the socks. Yeah. <laughs> Who sounds like that? I don't know. <laughs> I was talking with Melody uh, the other night about how there's like the quintessential uh, uh, usually it's like spouses mocking each other and how they talk and they're and it's always like <laughs> like, there's this, like it doesn't matter who your spouse is it's like if you're gonna try to mock them you know what they say to you that's how you're gonna make them sound is like some weird hulking ogre <laughs> and it seems to be general gender neutral like they're just gonna sound like a hulking ogre that's what you get. Here's a very silly song that won an award. True story. Well, I'm going to make you a pea-colored dress. And you'll wear it with style and you wear it with zest you'll twinkle and tinkle with all of the best be the envy of the ball they'll wish they could flow like you, wish they could glow like you, golden and radiant, a goddess of excrement. Cause if there's one thing that's totally true, no one wears peace. Now, if I was going to write a musical or rewrite a musical, I would slip that song into Phantom of the Opera somewhere. I think it just fits there. You know, like there's all the, the songs of the evening and all this stuff, uh, you know, all these beautiful numbers and then just slip in pea colored dress, like, Baby, the Phantom of the Opera is going to take you to the ball and you're going to look amazing in a pea-colored dress. Uh, 
Well, I just stunned myself with my depth there. Yeah. <laughs> You're in town. That would be an awesome musical. <laughs> so in 2008, um, I lived in Halifax in the summer because I had been hired by Shakespeare by the Sea to uh, act, but mostly uh, write write music for their repertory plays for that season. And one of them, uh, they always do two Shakespeare shows. So it was uh, Othello and um, Midsummer Night's Dream. And then they always also do an original uh, children's show. That's uh, always a comedy. And uh, that year it was uh, Cinderella, which was a country and Western version of Cinderella. And there were a lot of poop jokes in in the play and the songs and uh so you know writing about uh i don't mean to brag here but writing about excrement is is kind of my forte i'm i'm quite good at it i get calls you know not by anybody important like al franken calls me up and he's like can you write me a a poo song for my next campaign and i say al just give it up, man. Politics is done for you. Go back to comedy. You're so good at it. There's no need. You don't need me to write an amazing poo song that will get you elected again. I mean, it's a it's a great idea. Don't get me wrong, Al. Like, you're... I mean, it's a genius idea. It really is. Like, that could take you all the way to president, but do you really want to go that route? I mean, you know, there's a lot of stress involved in being president, and do you want that? Wouldn't you rather just kind of, like, hang out and sit on your laurels and enjoy life like I would so that's my that's my unsolicited advice to Al Franken um, when he calls so don't don't do it again Al I'm talking to you right now Al I know you're not watching but you may someday if you call me I'm gonna tell you don't run don't do it and I'm not gonna write you a song sorry buddy I love you, but no. All right. <laughs> Scat singing. Now, that brings up visuals that are really unpleasant. I, I don't want to think about scat singing in that sense. <laughs> oh, yeah. I can't say I'm glad about it Say that freedom is a blessing Cause I'm coming back home to you Well, before I went to jail my life was living hell Waking up to the crack of your whip Saying, John, take out the trash Walk the dog and feed the cats And don't forget to make lunch for the kids But when I was in the big house I didn't have to wake up Till an hour after I'd gotten up back home And I'd shuffle with my buddies Towards potatoes and scrambled eggs No more toast in the dark alone Oh yes, it's sad but it's true Prison treated me better than you And lately I've been pondering the question Is it worth it to get busted again? Well these days I go to work For 11 to 12 hours and come home to cold KDN dogs. But back in the 
pen We'd always work for ten And sometimes we'd get flaming young It hardly seems fair Home and jail, they barely compare and Frankly, baby, I've recognized the difference between weekly conversations, conjugal visitations, and the few days in a year you've shown interest. Oh, yes, it's sad, but it's true. Prison treated me better. Is it worth it to get busted again? Shh. Now I lay in bed trying to get some rest. I'll probably shut my eyes when you stop snoring. And I hate to admit it, but I'm feeling right nostalgic. Those times I had in jail sure were swell. Oh, yes, it's sad, but it's true. Prison treated me better than you. And lately I've been pondering the question is it worth it? That's called Prison Treated Me Better Than You. You're in Town is a real musical? What? How is it a real musical? And I have never heard of it. And why did they not call me? Hmm? I mean, look at... Am I not the Majesty of Scat? Do I not look like the very Majesty of Scat? I believe I do. So inexplicable. The makers of Urine Town need to write me a lengthy apology. Today. I'll never work for them again. Beasts. I love I love uh, fake righteous anger. It's a it's a beautiful thing. Brechtian. Oh my goodness. So uh, another theater story. Um, back in two thousand and three, I was part of Brechtfest in Winnipeg, Manitoba, and I was in a show that was taking Bertolt Brecht's poetry and turning it into scenes, uh, and I did music for that as well. And uh, it was really cool. Took in like all the shows while they were happening. They were at, I think, four different venues in Winnipeg. And uh, uh, I think it was the, is it the Three Penny Opera that he did? I can't remember what it was, but it was like the, it was in a big, huge theater space. And uh, the group that uh, put it on was, was amazing like fantastic songs and and the they went the whole nine yards with it i guess they had a a significantly better budget than uh, my group did <laughs> was i the majesty of scat as a young man an interesting question cage to see 
My beginnings with scat date back to 1983, when I threw poo at a wall and noticed that it made interesting shapes, and thus began uh, what I would call my poo painting period, if you will, that lasted about seven years until they kicked me out of school for mm, sullying and soiling the uh, establishment, as it were. Um, I couldn't blame them. It was a very unsanitary practice, but, uh, you know, this is what you do for art. Um, and uh, it continued. Then on, I, I thought, okay, I don't need to actually use scat in my performance. I can, I can refer to it. I can allude to it. I could allegorically scat. Uh, so it's it's taken many turns, and it's it's I've explored territories and universes that I never thought I would, uh, and gone to places that were were too deep to relate here, far too deep, and dark, and dirty, and smelly, so, so smelly. <sighs> ah, well, you took me down memory lane for a bit there, thank you. <laughs> In case you were wondering, yes, I did get hopped up on goofballs before I started today's broadcast. Or maybe it's just been a while, so I'm kind of like giddy. Talking and singing, playing. Here's a Dan Byrne song. I may have to sneeze first. Phew! Phew! <laughs> there you go, I think that's my first Tuesday sneeze. Woo! That's okay, it's not gonna hurt my singing a Dan Byrne tune, because Dan's, uh, Dan's pretty nasally in his voice, so. <laughs> Here we go. Queen all your life. Are you gonna take that crown off your head? Are you ever gonna come back to be? Do you gotta be a queen all your life? Plan on speaking this year. How you gonna keep everything inside? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you gonna keep all your great thoughts to yourself? Do you gotta be a queen all your life? Get off your throne Oh, I'm alone Get off your throne I'm walking in the morning I'm dying alone You gotta be a queen all your life Do you gotta take up one more layer of makeup up every day Are you ever gonna tell me what you want me to do or say Do you gotta be a queen all your life oh, Do you gotta, do you gotta, do you gotta, do you gotta, do you gotta oh, Do you gotta be a queen all your life 
gonna do you, gonna do you, gonna do you, gonna do you. Gotta be a queen all your life. Hey, Ruthie. <laughs> that was Queen by Dan Byrne. You've got a fundraiser for your new album. Awesome. Good luck with that. I hope you raise loads and loads of funds. There's a request here from Billy for Van Diemen's Land. I think that's a favorite of Patters too, so it's a double whammy. Get to delight two birds with one seed. This might be my last one. I'm getting a little hot and I'm supposed to go visit my parents today up at their cabin. Take a little swim, play some games, relax on this nice Saturday. So I hope you enjoy this last Lil Thing tune. Uh, it's a traditional tune, uh, probably best known as a tune that was on the Rattle and Hum album by U2, and also the one song that Bono did not sing. It was The Edge. Just part of why I love the tune. <laughs> Hold me now Oh, hold me now Till this hour Has gone around And I'm gone On the rising tide It's a bitter pill that I swallow here to be rent from one so dear. We fought for justice and not forgive. sent me away so hold me now oh hold me now till this hour has gone the soil but a day will come in this dawning day when an honest man sees an honest way hold me now Rising star. 
the gunman rules and the widow's pay a scarlet coat now a black beret they thought that blood and sacrifice out of death bring forth the light so hold me now oh go Billy Van Diemen's Land thanks for the request and thanks everybody for watching um, hopefully I'll be on again soon and uh, hopefully life doesn't kick me in the butt uh, like it has for the last month or so <laughs> thanks again love you all take good care and enjoy the rest of the weekend